What's up guys, welcome back to another video today. Another day off work, so I'm gonna try to show you every shoot 'em up or shmup, whatever you wanna call them. All my shooters for the PlayStation 2. Uh, I'm gonna start with US release stuff and then we'll get into some of the import stuff. But anyway, first game, R-Type Final. This is just a 3D rendered version of R-Type. Um, this is a pretty good game and it was pretty cheap for quite some time. I I'd say you can probably get this for maybe around the $20 range. And I'm saying that because for the money, um, this is a pretty good game for what you get. And, and friends of mine and fellow YouTubers are gaming off the grid. They really love this game. Um, glad we got it released out here in the States. But anyway, that's our type final. Uh, next game, Sylphie. Uh, this is one of two, I believe, working designs games that were released on the uh, PlayStation 2. Um, there was a Sega CD version of this game. It's pretty crude. Um, I guess you would. It is a shooter. So I guess it's one of the first 3D shooters, right? Um, this one's decent, you know, working designs. And it's got the glossy cover, but still feed for the PlayStation 2. And this is better, in my opinion, than the Sega CD version. Um, uh, next up, and these are all U.S. releases. This is Taito Legends 2. I forget all the shooters that are on here, but I remember. There's Darius Godden right there. Um, I remember there was a few really good ones. Um you know, guys, I, you know, let me know in the comments down below. It's just slipping my mind. But uh, Taito Legends 2, um, pretty good game for the money. I think it's still pretty cheap. Uh, next game, this is a hard one, uh, Gradius 5. Now, I would say graphically, this is probably the best game in the Gradius series. But as far as the gameplay goes, this is definitely not my favorite. Uh, this game is known for uh, Treasure being involved in the development of this game. Um, pretty game. It is kind of pricey. But uh, Gradius 5, again, not my favorite. Here we got Castle of Shikigami 2 or Shikigami no Shiro 2. Um, this is a, uh, this game's, okay, so I got this new actually. I got it at a retro game store new years, years ago. Um, really cheap game at the time. It was like under 10 bucks. Um, the thing that got me with this was the terrible, awesome voice acting in this game. It's like Japanese voice actors that are voicing English lines. Um, it's great. I love this game for that. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. It still should be pretty cheap. Um, but Castle Shikigami 2 or Shikigami no Shiro 2. Um, next up, Mobile Light Force. Uh, this is Castle Shikigami. So kind of kind of funny how that works. So this is Castle Shikigami, even though it says Mobile Light Force. And this is Castle Shikigami 2 or Shikigami no Shiro 1 and Shikigami no Shiro 2. If I'm wrong about that, let me know in the comments down below. But, um, you know, kind of funny that this is the... It, 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 this came at a time where like the anime and style like inspired artwork and like the style of uh, of, of gaming was kind of coming in and you know forcing this cheesy stuff out but you know both great games and this is probably still pretty cheap just because of the cover alone but um it's uh castle shikigami 2 and mobile light force 2 uh next up uh raiden 3 um, for the longest time, this game was like readily available, like everywhere in my area. And then I didn't see it for like a couple of years. Um, you know, pretty decent shooter in the Raiden series, you know, nothing uh, great about it. Uh, I do like Raiden four, uh, quite a bit more, even more so than Raiden five. Um, but I am starting to see as, you know, people are selling off their collections and stuff like that. I'm starting to see more of this game around, but, uh, yeah, Raiden three, good shooter. All right, next up we have SNK Arcade Classics Volume 1 now. What makes this a shooter? Well, what makes it a shooter is right here, Last Resort. Um, you know, it's an SNK shooter ported to this game, or this uh, collection of games. Um, pretty good shooter, but anyway, so we can add SNK Arcade Classics Volume 1 to the list. Um, next up we have Gradius 3 and 4. Um, here's the Japanese version that I had for a while, and the U.S. release that I actually found recently. Um, I actually prefer this game to Gradius 5. Um, you know, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below, but that's Gradius 3 and 4. Next up, we have Capcom Classics Collection. Now, this is Volume 1, and this has, let's see, it's got Section Z, 1942, uh, Legendary Wings. I think there's one more on here that's actually pretty good. Um, but anyway, Capcom Classics Collection Volume 1. And to back that up... We have Capcom Classics Collection Volume 2. Now, what makes this a shooter? Okay, now, I hope I'm not wrong about this, but I think it's this one. There's an arcade port of a game called Three Wonders. Now, Three Wonders was actually also ported to the PS1 over in Japan, but Three Wonders is, like, it's, like, three games for, like, one arcade machine, and one of those games is, like, a pretty cool shooter. It's weird, it's visually stunning, or visually weird. Um, God, it's, like, uh, it's not Cho and Iki weird, but it's, like, Twin B, like, more than Twin B weird, but... Anyway, that uh, should be on here. It's pretty cool. So this is definitely worth the money because of Three Wonders. I'm telling you guys, 
Capcom Classics Collection Volume 2. Look out for this one. It's cheap. It's cheap. Uh, next game is a game I cannot play because I don't have a PAL system, but this was like under 10 bucks. I found it one day, and that is 12 Stag. Um, this is, uh, I think Triangle Service did this game. I don't know. You know. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, God, I feel like I have this on the 360 or something, but anyway, that's 12 Stag. I'm sure I have a port of that on something. Um, we're moving on over to the Japanese games. Now, this is the meat and potatoes of this collection, guys. And huge shout out to David at uh, Gamers Paradise. Uh, you know, that guy really looked out for me. If it wasn't for him, you know, I wouldn't have most of these games. But anyway, first game, we have Thunder Force 6. Now, for those that thought Thunder Force 5 was the last one on the PlayStation 1, we got another one. We got Thunder Force 6. And I would equate this to like um, like our type final. It's like that kind of, you know, good. Um, it, it, it's got the, you know, it's got the Thunder Force uh, gameplay. But uh, it's 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 not my favorite Thunder Force game, but it is really good. Um, I don't think this one's super pricey, maybe around the fifty dollar range. But anyway, Thunder Force Six. And next up, this is another. This is a good one, and that's uh, Epscaluda. Uh, this does come with a, and you got to have a Japanese or a, um, you know, Uni BIOS or whatever PS2 to play these uh, Madra modded or something. But Epscaluda. Um, great game if you like Esprit or if you played the sequel to this on the Xbox 360. Uh, it has some of the cave's best mechanics. Um, you know, I got this one locally. Uh, you know, great shooter. It's uh, cave at their at their best. Next up, again, found this one locally. This is a, a 3D version of Twinkle Star Sprites. This is actually the first version of Twinkle Star Sprites that I ever gotten played. And it looks like at the time you could play it online. I'd be interested to see people that are still able to get this online and play it. That'd be pretty cool. But this is a good game. It's a good shooter. It's um, kind of like a the fighting game of shooters, if you will. Um, but anyway, Twinkle Star Sprites. And next up, we have probably the best shooter on the system for the PS2. Anyway, that's uh, Dodonpachi Daiojo. Uh, great cave shooter. I love the sound effects. If you like Katsu, um, this is pretty much uh, exactly the same, you know, just different uh, sprites and stuff like that. But if you like Katsu, uh, you'll love Dodonpachi Daiojo. Uh, great game. And I think there's a port of it on the 360. Um, next up, we have Trigger Heart Excelica. Now, this game actually came in a collector's edition. Um, it's, I don't even think it's that much money, but I really don't feel like adding a giant collector's edition to my uh, my games right now. But good shooter. Uh, there was a port of this on the 360, which is really easy to burn and play if you want to play it and try it out. But anyway, that's uh, Trigger Heart Excelica. And next up, this is a popular one, but it is really good. I've heard people give this game a lot of flack, but that's Giga Wing Generations. Um, you know, I'm one of those guys, you got Giga Wing 1 and 2 on the Dreamcast. They're uh, They're both pretty good. Um, you know, I've heard people talk shit on Giga Wing too. I, I, I like it, you know. Um, I didn't like this game at first, but when you get into the bullet deflect uh, mechanics of this game, it gets pretty addictive, and it makes the game pretty easy, actually. But that's uh, Giga Wing Generations, and it sucks that's exclusive to Japan, but this is another uh, triangle service game. This is uh, Tri-Zeal. Um, I'm pretty sure you can... This this was like one of those Dojin games. I think you can download it and play it on a PC go to uh you know, Dojin gravity or something you can probably you know, play it on your pc try it out but try zeal this one's kind of tricky to find but you know it wasn't super pricey this was like in the 50 dollar range um you know pretty good shooter and next up we have solvari r2 ultimate final now i do believe and correct me if i'm wrong about this but this is a port of the dreamcast version um which i kind of prefer it's kind of weird I, this one does have a dvd uh, there's been several uh, Salvariar games that came out on the PlayStation 2. This is the only one I have. Um, this was actually kind of tricky to find, but Salvariar 2 Ultimate Final. And next up, we have Humora, uh, Taito Shooter. Um, this one's pretty good. It's a shame that not a lot of people uh, talk about this one, but I really like it. Uh, if you like the Shikigami no Shiro series, uh, you will like this game. That's all I can say. Great shooter, Humora. Last but definitely not least by any stretch, we have, you guessed it, Ibarra. Um, God, this game was the hardest game for me to find. I, when I did find it, I bought it on Amazon Japan. I bought it for 100 bucks disc only. I actually printed cover art for this game um, just because I wanted to play it so bad. You know, I could have bought a modded system and a burn, but that would have costed just as much money as me buying a real copy of Ibarra. Um, so eventually I will buy a complete copy with its case, but only until I find it for a deal. Now, this game plays more like, um, I want to say Battle Garaga or a Psycho shooter than it does a cave shooter, but, you know, 
I heard this game had a really weird uh, development cycle, but a uh, pretty pretty good shooter. I definitely recommend it if you can find it for a deal. That is, uh, and you have the means to play Japanese PlayStation 2 games. You know, I bars where it's at. You know, great game and awesome collectible for the system. So that's pretty much everything I have shooter wise. If I missed anything, um, you know, I'll just show it to you later. But I think that's all the shooters I got for the PlayStation 2. Now, I am interested to hear what you guys have to say, what your favorite shooters are for the system. You know, me, I, obviously, I lean more towards the cave stuff. Um, you know, I would love to buy a copy of Mushihima Sama. Just haven't found one yet. But one day, you know, I've, I've run across some crazier stuff. I recently found a copy of uh, Border Down on the Dreamcast for a pretty awesome deal. So, you know, you never know it's going to come up and pop up in your area. Anyways, guys, love to hear what you have to say in the comments down below. Till next time, peace out.